You're black guys or white guys? Black guys. Okay, can you uh, elaborate as to why specifically black guys? Yes, black guys are melanated and I want my children to survive. <laughs> and I know that the only way for them to survive in the future is for them to have melanin in their skin. So that's the way for me to you know, make my legacy continue. <laughs> okay, that's a, I like that answer. That's actually a really unique answer. <laughs> According to the United States Census Bureau, by the year 2042, Caucasian people in America will be the minority. By 2042, you're dealing with people whose bodies cannot sustain life. Right now, more white women's wombs are not able to hold a baby up to nine and a half months and they're having miscarriages. So they're having more deaths than births, according to the United States Census Bureau. When you're dealing with a group of people who look mm. at their livelihood and it is dwindling, there are actions that need to be taken. So not only do we have the black woman being encouraged to have hysterectomies, but we have the white woman being encouraged to have more children. You have the abortion clinics in 78% of the inner city neighborhoods while you have the majority of fertility clinics in the rich neighborhoods. You have body parts. Women, black women are being encouraged to get hysterectomies, but those hysterectomies are not being petitioned to be received by trans men. Ooh. Kidneys, you have lungs, hearts, et cetera, that are on the underground white market because black people don't control it. White and Jewish people primarily do control it, so I can't call it the black market, it's the white market. Okay, number one. Number two, hearts are worth a little over 100,000. Kidneys are worth over 20, 50,000, depending on where, where it is. And those black body parts, hence why 75,000 plus black men are missing. A lot of these children, 2,500 every year are missing. It sounds like Get Out. It is Get Out. That movie was based on true stories happening all over the place. In America, right now, it is a 30, billion dollars sex trafficking commercialized industry meaning the money made from sex trafficking of children and women is now contributing to America's economic base it is not what? a secret anymore and organ trafficking and organ trafficking because people are dying how does it, how did, how did David Rockefeller get six or I believe seven heart transplants in less than 20 years when you go on the list for a heart donor you have to go back to the bottom after you get a heart this man who happens to be a banker and he's gone now but he got over five hearts how do you do that unless you have the money to do it? And not only that, but what hearts was he getting? Yeah, a black man's heart. Mm. Like, why you shouldn't put organ donor on your driver's license? Because that makes you a target. This is a real world we're dealing with. They found a, a, a bunker in Phoenix, Arizona a couple months ago with refrigerators full of hearts, kidneys, a few uh, heads, body parts in refrigerators. This is a very real thing. And it wasn't just an organ where I know this... It was a bunker, unmarked. People didn't know about it until the police raided it and they found all these body parts. It's a very real thing. You see that